Yes, female earwigs are great mothers. They provide extensive parental care for both the eggs and their wiglets after they hatch. Only about 1% of insect species show parental care, and most insects, females simply lay their eggs and then they walk or swim or fly away, or in many species, both males and females die shortly after reproduction. So in the last couple of weeks here in the Northern Hemisphere, as the days are getting shorter and the temperatures are dropping, female earwigs laden with eggs have burrowed themselves about an inch underground and created these little chambers in which they're gonna lay their eggs and for about the next 70 to 90 days, they will tend to those eggs, defending them against pathogens and parasites. If a mole or something comes through and disturbs the eggs, the mother will diligently walk around and collect every egg, bringing it back into the mass where she can keep it safe. And some recent research reinforces the idea that earwig moms are diligent moms. In this study, they separated their female earwigs into two groups. In one group, they essentially removed the microfungi that are so good at infecting eggs and wiglets from the soil around the chamber in which the eggs were being incubated. And then in the other group, they left the soil around those egg chambers unmanipulated. So females in that group had to deal with all of the normal levels of pathogens in the environment that could potentially affect their eggs and their wiglets. And what they found was when they moved, literally physically moved a female earwig from her egg chamber, that in the group where the pathogens were intact, those females ran back to their eggs. I mean, ran back to their eggs. Whereas in the group where the pathogens had been largely removed, females took their time. They ate a little bit and they kind of walked back to their eggs, you know, checked them out, make sure they're okay. But what this suggests is that female earwigs are paying attention literally to the potential pathogen load in the environment around their eggs and wiglets and using that in a, to affect the way that they provide parental care. And in addition to that really interesting work, a study from 2015 shows us that earwig females that are raised without a mother don't make great mothers. They try, they provide parental care, but they're just not very effective at it. They lose a lot of eggs and a lot of wiglets. So this result tells us that maternal care in earwigs is a combination of genetic factors, right? They instinctively try to provide parental care, but it's also environmental factors. If they haven't quite literally had experience with their mom taking care of them, they don't become great moms. So maybe next time you see an earwig, try to resist the temptation to squish it because these bugs have a lot going on.